Thank you, Mike. I'm just going to take a few minutes. It is five minutes of two here in Washington, D.C., which means it's five minutes of two Monday morning on the Vietnamese border in a series of prisoner of war camps where there are today around 250 still held against their will. I've been over there many times, including three times last year. If you go there, it's very clear that there are these prisoners being held in these camps. In fact, everybody in the vicinity talks about it all the time. They all know about it. Oh, yeah, my uncle drives a truck that delivers vegetables to the camp every Monday. It's well known. But the problem for this issue, two things, betrayal and lies. And they come from where we are standing. From this city is the reason the prisoners have not come home. So let me just tell you very quickly what happened. Forty years ago, when the war was coming to an end, we promised to pay Vietnam four point seven five billion with a B dollars. Uh, and that was done by President Nixon to the Vietnamese and they promised to give back the POWs. And the first shipment of prisoners who came home included John McCain and others and they sent about half the prisoners. They had 1,200. They sent 600 home. The famous ones. McCain, Jerry Denton, Richard Stratton, Admiral Stockdale, but they kept 600 back as an insurance policy to get the money. Well, guess what? 43 years later, we still have never paid one penny to the Vietnamese. And guess what? They've never given one of those 600 prisoners back. That is terrible. But the worst part are the people in our government obviously already referred to members of Congress, but it's presidents of the United States of both parties, congressmen, senators, but the real bastards are the bureaucrats in the CIA, the DIA, the NSA, who have lied to the families of these men. There are a few families here today, and uh, Jerry Kiley and I are very good friends with Carol Herdlicka, whose husband was shot down 51 years ago. 1965 in Laos, photographed on the ground in captivity. Two years later, recorded a radio interview on a Moscow radio by the communists. He was alive. He may still very well be alive at 84 years old. What does our government do about these men? Nothing. And they have betrayed them and they have lied to the families. They've not shown them the truth about the incidents where their sons or husbands or fathers were lost. This is the most disgraceful cover-up in American political history. The media pays no attention to it. Big surprise. Uh, the politicians pay lip service to it. Big surprise. It's the few of us who are left who still care about this thing. So what can you do? A eh, couple things. Number one. It doesn't ever hurt to pray that these men, while they still have a life ahead of them and a breath in their body, could come home and be back in this great country. That would be the first thing. Pray for them. Number two comes this election. Does this election matter for bringing home the POWs that are still there? We have. Yes, it does. It always does. So the choice, Hillary or Trump. Hillary, Cl Hillary, Clinton, Hillary Clinton was the co-president uh, with her husband for eight years, during which time they not only did nothing about the POWs, they took that awful, wretched, corrupt Senate Select Committee report and used it to justify normalizing relations with Vietnam, giving away any leverage we ever had. That didn't work. Eight years of Clinton did nothing to bring the prisoners home. And... Four years of Hillary as Secretary of State did nothing. She didn't do squat to bring the prisoners home. So, thumbs down on Hillary. Uh, now we get, we get to Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump got a little twisted up last summer 
in his anger about John McCain. And I, I have to speak about John McCain. I've known John McCain for 40 years. There has never been a public official who's been worse on the POW issue than John McCain. Because as a former POW, he has the stature to have put this issue front and center, spoken out, and he could have single-handedly brought these men back. He did just the opposite. He and John Kerry did more to kill this issue than any other elected officials in this country.